Another thing you can do with crayons is uh, melt them on a hot plate. That's usually really neat. They're one of my favorite things to do. Um, I do have a, an electric warming plate that I'm using. And so I have that plugged in and it's getting hot. So I also have a pot holder so that I don't burn myself. Um, and it's just an old icky pot holder because I might be getting wax on this. So I don't care what happens to this. Um, and then I have some paper and then I also have a good selection of um, naked crayons that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be melting these on there. And there's a couple of different ways that we can do that. We can do it directly onto the paper. And this is where the potholder is going to come in handy because I need to hold this down. And I can draw directly onto this. Maybe, maybe I do a person that's waving at you. That's pretty funny. All right. Um, and then that's pretty easy. So I've got a, a little picture that I've done. Another way to do this is to place the crayons right onto the foil. You want to have it covered with foil. You do not want to do this right on there. I would cover it with foil anyway um, you're using this. Got different colors. This warming tray gets really hot so you can start seeing it separate like this. I would prefer one that you can change the um, temperature on but you know, you kind of get what you get sometimes with these. I've uh, gotten a few at thrift stores. That's one place to get it. Uh, if you're comfortable doing this on uh, your stovetop on a griddle, that's another way to do it. Just make sure that you have things covered. Um, I don't go for anything specific, any detailed pictures because what you're going to find is that these are going to run all together. These colors are going to run together. And I love watching the mixing of it. The mixing is pretty cool. So some of the colors that stand out might be some of the metallics. If you have any metallics, this one's um, a gold one. I love using silver. White is really fun to, to use because it will mix with the colors and really show up. And then when I'm done with the design, I'm going to actually print it. So I'm going to place it down on here. Here's why we don't care about that pot holder, because I'm going to put that on top. And there's going to be some that gets out the sides and onto my pot holder. So we're just going to make this my crafty pot holder. And then let's lift it up and see the design.